What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Before I get into this video, I just want to give a reminder to all of you, make sure to come to the live with the viewers or just the live stream this Saturday. We're going to be starting at one hour before the Ravens Panthers preseason game. We're going to do a pregame show. So ask us any questions, matchups, who's playing, all those types of things. We'll be talking about it. We're, we're just going to be having a good time. And that's to kind of prep, get our predictions and everything like that, because Joshua and I figure it's a lot easier for us to do that in a live show rather than us guessing and pre-recording it and not really knowing exactly what we're going to, uh, what you guys want to hear about. So if you have any questions, things like that, make sure to come uh, on this channel. Make sure to come ask those questions. And then right after the game, we're going to answer as many questions as possible. Just have a good time with all of you. Uh, either celebrate a victory and analyze everything that went well and wrong. Or if they lose, we'll still be analyzing it. You know, what went wrong? Who can improve? Uh, you know, roster positional battles. You know, obviously last week, a big thing we talked about was Tyler Huntley versus Trace McSorley. But, you know, new, new debates will come up through this week. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure to come to that. Um, you know, it, it's just really, it's really just about having a good time and, and analyzing with all of you, but that's it for this intro. Let's get into the video. If you didn't know the Ravens and Panthers have been doing joint practices today was the second and final day of the joint practices. And I'm basically going to be giving a recap and a little bit more analysis and things like that on the joint practices, because now that they're over, the Ravens are looking forward to playing in the game on Saturday. And the first thing that I want to talk about, I think it's the most pressing thing on a lot of people's minds, is the Mark Andrews situation. If you didn't know, Mark Andrews was sidelined um, early on. He was getting some IVs, then he tried to, you know, kind of stand up. He was having some cramps, and then he collapsed. An ambulance came. From reports I've read, he was never taken to the hospital, um, which is a good sign, but he was having... Um, a lot of cramping and, you know, as a diabetic, he, it's definitely just more scary. You know, I'm not, I don't claim to be an expert on diabetes or anything like that. Um, you know, my uncle's diabetic. That's the only person um, that I'm really close to that's diabetic. So it's not something that I know a ton about in terms of heat, you know, heat strenuous situations, cramps, IVs. I, I don't know a ton about that stuff. Um, if anybody in the comments, you know, knows a lot about it and and whether or not i i know people were saying thing i've i'd read like people concerned like oh he has diabetes as well is that an impact i don't know um however you know haven't heard any like bad news or anything like that ever since that happened uh but just crazy cramps it, it was a hot day you know you're you're practicing in carolina it's it's hot but not for jk dobbins <laughs> um after practice they asked him and he was like y'all call this hot i'm from texas this isn't hot but uh you know obviously when you're you know practicing out in baltimore and then you go down to carolina it's a lot of a lot of heat that you're dealing with um but that mark andrews Hope obviously wishing him the best. Hopefully he he's all good. Um, we'll find out more information and things like that. Um, as as the day goes on, as the week goes on, we'll find out more about exactly what's going on. But in terms of the other parts of the practice, uh, once again, I've read I've read stuff from Panthers. I've read stuff from the Ravens so that I can get the full scope because I love getting the full scope, especially from joint practices because then you get to understand what truly happened. Because sometimes Ravens people won't write about the negative because why would you want to hear about the negative? But I, I report on everything, um, anything that I can find out. So the first thing that if you're reading it, the Ravens did talk about this in some of the reports. Um, Jeff Zerebic, uh talked about it, the Baltimore Ravens.com, they talked about it, but the Ravens struggled with um, turnovers. So they had five turnovers today, or at least five interceptions. I didn't read anything about any fumbles forced or anything like that, but they had five interceptions. Um, only one of them was from Lamar Jackson, which is a good thing, but five interceptions, missing five out of their six starting wide receivers. If you guys want to know who was out, it was a lot of people. But Marquise Brown, Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, Sammy Watkins, um, Deion Kane, Miles Boykin, Nick Boyle also was missing, Justice Hill also missing. I believe those are all the the pass catching players that were missing, and then Mark Andrews missing a, a significant amount of practice. So they were definitely not rocking with the the first team wide receivers, and they were not rocking with either starting tackles. No Ronnie Stanley, no Alejandro Villanueva. So I'm not looking at this and saying like, oh no, the Ravens they can't score in the red zone or they can't score in seven on sevens against the Panthers. 
the backups can't score and they, the backups struggled, but shout out to the Panthers defense. Obviously, you know, the Ravens were definitely trying. Um, what I did read was that the Lamar Jackson interception was in a end game situation, red zone drill. Um, and so obviously if, if you guys don't know Lamar Jackson technically has never thrown a red zone interception, uh, because based on like NFL statistics and things like that, they don't count postseason um, like things to add to that total. But he has thrown a postseason um, red zone interception. But he threw that um, to I can pull up the name right here. It was Jackson. It was Jackson on the the Panthers. I can't remember his first name. Dante Jackson was the one that got the interception, and it was in the end game situation. Actually, it got a little bit crazy. Um, they all started celebrating. The ball ended up with Shaq Thompson. Shaq Thompson punted the football into the air. Refs were throwing flags everywhere. There were taunting penalties and stuff like that. Um, you know, there wasn't any sort of fight or anything like that. But you know, the Panthers were celebrating because it was supposed to be an end game situation type of thing. Um, didn't go any crazy other than just like some taunting uh, penalties were given out. But like, come on, it's practice taunting. If you're not taunting at a joint practice, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Um, you know, whether it's the Panthers or the Ravens, you get they should taunt. Um, obviously, the Ravens definitely struggled today because they, I mean, they literally didn't have their players um, being able to practice. James Prochet, though, he was out there, first Ravens player, basically on the field working on the jugs machine. He is just he is putting in a lot of work, and that's that. I think we're really going to see it this year is going to be the James Prochet kind of jump. And hopefully he's able to prove it because everything we're hearing and reading about from preseason, from practice, it's all positive about James Prochet. But in other news, kind of with the Ravens practicing, um, you know, the Panthers are, from their articles, they, they talked about how much pressure the Ravens send and how it was something that they absolutely have to keep paying attention to. They last week they had joint practices with the Colts and they were like, yeah, we weren't worried about our quarterbacks getting hit. Then they were like, Oh my gosh, our quarterbacks are just going to get like walloped basically. <laughs> like they were like, yeah, we have to think about playing our guys and how often they're going to get hit because the Ravens blitz so much. The amount of quarterback pressure is insane. Which leads into the preseason game. Because, I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but Sam Darnold will be um, starting the game for the Panthers. He, he would play a little bit. Panthers have said that some of the starters will get a little bit of snaps. They're looking towards the third game, but um, that's something that, that's very good for the Ravens uh, because it gets us to play against a starting quarterback in the NFL in preseason. It gets to test out the defense. Um, can you get pressure? Can you make them you know, make bad reads and all that stuff? Because Sam Darnold is a better quarterback than... Def, he's definitely a better quarterback than Taysom Hill. Um, I'm actually a big Sam Darnold fan, but Sam Darnold uh, better than Taysom Hill. So it's actually the best quarterback we've faced so far, in my opinion, um, in, you know, with the weapons that he has. Because Jameis came in, but he didn't have any weapons whatsoever. So it was really difficult for him. But I, I probably think Jameis is a little bit better. But I don't know. I, I, it, they're tough. Both uh, former top five picks. But overall, Ravens get to play against a, a top tier um, quarterback. Reports are John Harbaugh is not saying whether or not he expects Lamar Jackson to play. So there's no news on whether or not he will be playing. The expectation is if he doesn't play, Tyler Huntley would be the starter. But very good to see that we actually will be go get to go against some of the starters from the Panthers and get to really see what we're all about. Um, hopefully they start some tackles. Hopefully, you know, they start some wide receivers and we can really find out, you know, how good our, our players are, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Because the offensive side of the ball, we're probably not going to have that many wide receivers anyway, so it's going to be tough to judge. It'll really just be a depth piece. But the defense, we'll be able to play a lot of our defensive pieces. You know, Adafi away, Marlon, Marcus Peters, I expect them to play a little bit um, if they're healthy at that point. Uh, you know, Deshaun Elliott, Chuck Clark, Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison, They'll be out there. We'll get to see what they can do. And that's the core part of the defense. We may not have Justin Houston or Calais or, or Brandon Williams, the veterans. But overall, we'll get to see some good matchups between the offense and the defense. So, uh, you know, I'm very excited for that. Uh, should be a lot of fun for the game. Um, that's it for kind of the practice report. But 
you know, for the people that have stuck around to this point, um, something that I'm going to try and do at the end of videos is just do, I don't know, if you guys think it's a stupid idea, I mean, only like, I don't know how much percent finish the videos, it's something like 15% of viewers finish the video completely. But um, I'm going to try and do trivia at the end of videos. So if you want to comment uh, your answer down below, I'm going to start super easy today and just say, um, let's go with who is the Baltimore Ravens all time leading passer in passing yards. So comment, comment it down below. Um, and, and we'll go from there, but you know, every video I'll try and put in some sort of trivia and stuff like that for you guys to, um, you know, eventually it'll get harder and harder and you actually learn a lot, but at the beginning it'll be pretty easy, but should be a lot of fun. If you guys think it's a stupid idea, let me know in the comment section down below, but thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for everybody listening on the podcast platform. And I will see all of you again tomorrow, which will be the final day before the preseason game.